Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about a short story written by Richmond Crompton in 1939. This was during the time that uh, Crompton was a trainee in the communication services. She was asked to write a short story for the Bromley Civil Defence Services um, Christmas newsletter, which was only given a few days notice before it was due to be printed and stenciled. But of course, she rose to the occasion and created a fantastic story where William visits his aunt in Bromley. During this story, his aunt appears to be a bit down and is doing everything that he can think of to make her happy again. Unfortunately, <laughs> knowing William, the things that he thinks makes people happy are very different to the things that actually make people happy. Uh, so it goes down like a lead balloon. Then he decides he wants to become the hero. This doesn't work either. Um, he discovers um, a communications room where people are sending false messages about things that are happening in the town, such as aircraft being down, things like this. Uh, he then follows the ringleader back to his home um, and it all descends into chaos from there. Um, William's sure that he's right um, while he considers his actions in his bedroom that night, um, is surprised to see the police arriving at his door so quickly to issue an apology to say that, oh, William, you are absolutely right in what you were saying. Unfortunately, that's not how it ends. It ends with the police finding light coming through his bedroom window. So, yet again, more trouble. The story, after it was printed in the... Um, newsletter wasn't seen in its original form again until it was published in Undaunted, this wonderful little book about um, Bromley during the Second World War. However, the story was revised greatly and then added in William Does His Bit as the title story. While the original doesn't have any illustrations with it, this version does. As we can see, uh, the policeman finding William going through a house that he's not supposed to be in. Uh, it's a fantastic story, both versions are. Um, it's definitely, if you can get hold of the original version, definitely read it. It's interesting to see the comparisons between the two versions. Um, yeah, and that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, thank you for listening. Hope to see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.